All right, guys, welcome to episode 158, and we have another unboxing coming at you, this time from Geek Fuel for January 2017. Let me stop you right there. I know what you're saying. I complain all the time about how much I hate these subscription boxes. They lure me in all the time with promises of cool stuff from franchises I like, and then I open it up, and it's a bunch of tchotchke crap. Now, sometimes I like tchotchke crap. My room here is littered with it, but this stuff seems to be extra tchotchke. Or they give you, like, one little Batman thing and, like, a hundred Star Wars things. I don't like Star Wars. Okay? But this month's box, it has to be a winner. It just does because what the gimmick was that got me to order this one was that they promised one of three Q figs, either Harley from Suicide Squad arrow or flash from the respective tv shows so you know you got at least one winner of an item in here and that's almost worth the price of the box alone you could have been able to choose which figure you got but they also offered a different promotion where you could have gotten a free uh jason Voorhees figure from fire 13 now i chose that promotion because really any of the q figs would have been winners for me so i didn't really care which one that i got although i probably am leaning towards getting an arrow in here because it just there's just not enough arrow stuff out there of any type of version of the green arrow there's plenty of you can get your hands on flash stuff very hard to get your stuff hands on arrow stuff so maybe we should have picked but I like the idea of getting the Q-Fig plus a free Jason figure on top of it. So let's open it up and see what we got. We got our scissors here because even though I have 20 box cutters in this house, I can't find any of them. And I just dropped the box and it's bad enough. As soon as I picked it up, I already heard stuff uh, rattling around in there. So we'll see. You open up Geek Fuel and we'll see what you got inside. And Geek Fuel Magazine has the now departed Karen Fisher on uh, the cover and then it's got a nice little uh, the, the the Star Wars scroll I guess you can call it and a little tribute to carry on there like I said I'm not not a Star Wars guy not in the slightest but you know rest in peace to Carrie Fisher you know what she meant to that franchise and its fans is not lost upon me you know so I do feel their pain all right now let's open it up here and we already and here it is the free uh, Jason figure the uh, reaction series Jason Voorhees so there you go and it's already open I have other reaction figures that I've gotten in these boxes and the glue just doesn't stay on them so if you're trying to keep them mint you're not going to keep it mint anymore so there you go Jason Voorhees saunters off to the side so let's open it up here and what we got here is the uh, Flash. We got the Flash Q fig. So there you go. Not bad. Probably would have been my second choice because I do have an overabundance of Harley stuff with all the pops from Suicide Squad. So kind of glad that I did get a Flash Q pop. Although this is more of the comic style. The one that I, I thought they showed one that was in his um, gear from the CW, but this is more of a comic style one. But still pretty cool. I still like it. Still very glad that I got this box to get this. I guess Arrow and Harley are in a different set because uh, here you get Justice League Animated Series, Superman, and Wonder Woman is the other figures in the set. So I'm going to assume that this is from uh, the Justice League since the other two figures in the set are also from Justice League. So there you go. Also in the box here, we have something from Masters of the Universe. So let's take a look at that. It is a He-Bot. Robot, the most powerful robot in the universe. Oh, this is the monthly uh, Geek Fuel pin, and it's fashioned after He Man. So, cool idea, but nothing for me there. It's He Bot and Skele Fuel, because they, I guess, they didn't have the license to use this month, so there you go. Because it's Robot of the Universe, Heroic Warrior, He Bot, or Evil Warrior, Skele Fuel. So, there you go. Cool idea. Um, I can appreciate that. I'm going to save the t-shirt and the other big box in here. Let's see what else we got going on. If I can get my damn hands on it. 
Ninja Pizza Girl. That's the Steam game for this month. Ninja Delivering Pizzas is a Ninja Pizza Girl is a serious game about self-esteem, bullying, and resilience, and pizzas do and pizza delivering ninjas. You know what? I think I'm gonna. There you can see. No, this is upside down. I think I'm gonna keep this. I definitely think that I want to check this out. I mean, it seems to maybe be geared towards kids a little bit with the whole bullying and perseverance thing, but. I used to deliver pizza in college. I wish I was a pizza delivery ninja. And that was always one of my dreams in life. So, maybe I will check that out. Oh, that's the uh, the flyer here. And we still have a couple of things in here. Uh, well, this is kind of heavy. I don't know what this is. It says this is a Geek Fuel exclusive. Comes in like a treasure chest. Sent it. it smells like... Uh, like a car air freshener or something. So, trying not to destroy the box because I have a feeling it's going on eBay anyway. I'm trying to keep it in prison. You know what it smells like? It smells like bar soap, actually. I hope they didn't send bar soap. It, <laughs> it is. I can't. Oh my god. Rupee soap. Your tumultuous journey through the sacred realm can leave you. Disheveled and unkempt on your quest to defeat the evil king, bring along your Geek Fuel exclusive rupees. Am I saying that right? Rupee soap to keep you fresh throughout your adventure. You, you have got to be kidding me. They actually, they actually sent friggin' soap. <laughs> it's three pieces of soap with in three different colors. I have absolutely no idea what genre this is, uh, franchise this is from, but this is insane. I mean. Give them credit for originality. That's that's all I could say. I have never gotten soap in a subscription box before. Excuse me. And finally, we have uh, the T-shirt, and the T-shirt is of uh, I don't know. Oh, take a look at it. You tell me. I'm not really sure what this is of. It looks pretty cool. Not really sure what it's of. So here we go. Who isn't into repurposing these days? The Rebels certainly make good use of this droid. Oh, so I'm guessing it's from uh, Rogue One. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, with the affable wash. While the affable wash lends his uh, comedic talents to the bot. I guess this is... Uh, you can see what it is. I guess this is from Rogue One. That's what this uh, reminds me of. So there you go. Alright, also, uh, the rupee soap, uh, does your hero smell like they've been sword slinging all over the land of Hyrule? Again, I have no idea what any of these words are, so, uh, somebody wants to leave in the comments what this is actually from. I mean, that looks like Harry Potter script, but, again, I never watched the Harry Potter or read a book, so. Uh, the Geek Fuel exclusive pins you could have got in, uh. Yeah, you could have gotten he, uh, either the He-Man or the uh, Skeletor one, the Ninja Pizza Girl game, and the uh, with Geek Fuel's first feature with Quantum Mechanics, we're happy to see variety alongside with a killer value. Find one of these four in your box to add to your collector shelf, or head over to Facebook to get to trading. So you could have gotten. Oh, you could have. Oh, the see, the promotion was you could have chose between Arrow, Flash, or Harley, but they also offered a Mr. Freeze in there, him eating ice cream, which is pretty cool. So you really could. I mean, honestly, I would have won what any of these. So there you go. That's Geek Fuel for uh, January. Like I said, it was a it's a one box item for me. It's the um, Flash Q Fig. I don't know, maybe I'll hit up eBay and see if I can grab myself an arrow for relatively cheap. The Harley's nice, but like I said, we got plenty of Harley stuff in the Suicide Squad gear. And the Mr. Freeze is interesting, but not something I'm going to go out of my way to find. So, I mean, thank you. I'm, I do like this. Uh, got my free Jason figure. So, I guess this is a two-box item. So, I guess this is why I ordered it to get these two things. And so... The other stuff was interesting to say the least. Uh, I can appreciate the He-Man pin, 
but not anything I'm going to use. Although I, I probably will try this Ninja Pizza Girl, if I can just say my words correct, Nin, Ninja Pizza Girl game. So we got that. This soap is outrageous. Like I have no idea where it's from, what what where they're getting at with it, but it it legit is it's outrageous that they would send you soap in a subscription box, and the T-shirts from Star Wars. So we'll be moving on from that. And we'll be moving on from this episode. So thank you. Please uh, check out the blog. I still have not set up my little uh, piece of paper to tell you where to go. But I will in the uh, description for this video. So please uh, check out the blog. Oh, and look what I noticed here. I was going to throw this thing out. And then I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. The figure comes with a little sword. It's taped to the inside of the plastic. So there you go. Now you can chop somebody's head off. All right, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore 973. I'm almost positive the web address for the blog is Christian973blog.wordpress.com. Not positive, like I said. I got to get a little thing going for you guys. The thing is, I come home with my mail, and I just want to shoot videos because I'm excited to see what's inside of it. So I don't always prepare ahead of time. I'm just like, got my stuff, let's shoot. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Like I said, follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore 973, and we'll see you in the next episode.